Well, good morning, Story Chasers. This is not where I stayed last night. Um, I stayed at that airstrip, which was quite lovely. Very, very quiet. I actually saw a bobcat, too, or something that looked like a bobcat who was uh, trying to scout out poor little rabbit for some food. Or at least it wasn't Lily. It's so beautiful over here. I wanted to explore this little area by the river, but look at these moose and caribou. Isn't they beautiful? They're not real. They're just statues. This is Teslin, and it's right on the river. Oh, it's so pretty. Came across this river yesterday. A lot of these bridges, they have warning signs on them saying to go very slow, 50 kilometers per hour, which is 30 miles per hour. The reason is because it's metal and it's a little bit rough. So you can kind of feel your RV or your van wobbling a little bit as you uh, go across it. Well, we're headed out to Whitehorse now to meet up with some other friends that are from the Escapers group, Mark and Shay, and maybe have some dinner with them tonight. It'll be good to see people that I know from Escapers. I miss all my, uh, my extended family from there. I'm not much of a shopper, but I am on the lookout for a special piece of artwork that I can hang on my wall in the van. I've been looking for over a year and I'll know when I see it. So I frequent these shops along the way to Alaska looking for that special something. have some beautiful rest areas over here. You can see the backdrop is amazing. And I actually dumped my tank over here at the, not my gray tank, but I dumped my cassette toilet restrooms that they have over here. So it's really uh, convenient. They have these um, a lot of places around here. And just off to the side of the road, sometimes overlooking a lake, sometimes just, you know, mountains and trees in the background. It is beautiful. I love it. Now I gotta go clean my windshield. I ran out of uh, windshield wiper fluid because I was using it so much to get all the bugs off so I could film out of the front window. So now it's time to go clean before I get to Whitehorse and Whitehorse I'll get some actual solution. When I started my travels a couple of years ago, I'm constantly reminded of the people who came before me, the people who paved the way so that all of us can enjoy these beautiful areas of the country. Somebody had to build this road so that I could travel on it to get to this remote part of the United States. I am truly grateful. Well, it's a laundry day. I used to despise doing laundry, but that was in a sticks and bricks house where it could take hours. Now at public laundry mats, it takes only one hour to do multiple loads of laundry and all at once so I can multitask by working in the van. This is a surprising town. I thought it was gonna be one of those small little towns like I was going through with Watson Lake and Fort Nelson, but no, it's a thriving town. This place that I'm staying at tonight called the Real Canadian Superstore. Not sure what that's about just yet, but I'm gonna go over there tomorrow and check it out. But I met up with some escaper friends, Mark and Shay. Just met them when I went to Mexico this last year. We had dinner at a place called uh, Earl's is the name of it. And it was so good. It is, uh, by the way, 9.34 at night. Look how light it is. <laughs> I can't get over this yet. I feel like I'm tired, but I'm not tired. I go to bed to like one o'clock in the morning because it was so light outside still. Try to go inside and make it to where it's dark as can be in there, except it's a little bit warmer out. So I need to keep the shades open for air circulation. So the windows need to be open. So it's kind of a catch 22. I am a little bit tired from all of the driving that I've been doing. A little bit too much driving lately, only because I was trying to get to certain spots and you know I always feel like I'm on this quest to get to the destination and sometimes I go a little bit too fast and I don't always enjoy what's in between. Part of it is because the internet wasn't good. I have stuff I need to do on the internet unfortunately so or fortunately it's a catch-22. Um, but I'm definitely gonna visit a lot of these places on the way back and just prepare a little bit better now that I know where those spots are at. I feel like there's this quest to get to Alaska and that 
I don't always stop and enjoy the stuff in between, not only because of the internet, but just because sometimes I can be very destination focused rather than really enjoying what's in between. And that's something that I'm working on. I've been working on it since I started this nomad life, but I was just talking with Mark and Shay about it tonight and how I can be that way sometimes and how difficult it is to slow down, surprisingly, when you come out of a nine to five job and sometimes from a sticks and bricks home and living in the city and how hard it can be to slow down and just enjoy. Um, it's incredible, isn't it? That it's hard for us to do that, but it is. And I think it's because we always feel like we have to be doing something. I know I do. I always feel like I have to be doing something. I mean, there's times when I do have slow times where I really want to just, you know, chill out and relax and stuff. And there's times where I just feel like I have to be productive. And I know that comes from probably my work days and, you know, part of it is coming from a corporate environment and working a lot. And then just, I don't know, I have a pretty high work ethic, so I've worked all my life, and this is just what I do, so I'm still working on slowing down. I've had, you know what, 30 plus years of being in a life where I work, 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 and hustle, 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 and trying to slow down, surprisingly, is difficult. Time to go meditate, speaking of that. <laughs> Look who I found! <laughs> they texted me and said... You taking a nap? I'm sitting here thinking to myself, they're supposed to be in Skagway. I'm in Whitehorse. What? How do they know I'm at the coffee shop? Because I'm at Starbucks sitting here siphoning off free Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> we got to do what we got to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And so this is Eric and Rachel. You might have seen them. And one of my first videos I did with them, an interview. That was and they're work camping in Skagway yes. down in Alaska. And they came to Whitehorse just for the day and saw me at Starbucks. How random. Saw, saw our van. Yeah. Yay. There she is. Yay. <laughs> yeah. It's been awesome. I can't even Yay. see where this. Oh, <laughs> Let's see if we can get us over here. Yay. Oh my god, the sunlight. <laughs> uh -huh. We've been without sunlight for a week. These are, these are my oldest nomadic friends. We met in Eugene, Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. Eugene, Oregon. Yeah. In our cellar. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm so glad to yes, see you. So sweet, <laughs> girl. So sisters, so happy to see Lily too. Guys, I am on cloud nine. I cannot believe that Eric and Rachel Weiser just randomly showed up here in um, Whitehorse. I mean, not random for them, but random that we ran into each other. I was at Starbucks and I have missed them. I had planned on coming down to see them on my way back out of Alaska because they're in Skagway, Alaska and not part of kind of the main part of Alaska. I was just sitting at Starbucks using the Wi-Fi in my van. They showed up and sent me this text. Well, I didn't know that they were there. They sent a text and said, hey, where are you? And I told them that I was on Whitehorse. Then they said, are you taking a nap in your van? And I'm like, what? And then they said, coffee, at question mark, question mark, question mark. And I'm like, okay, wait, are you here? <laughs> it was so random. I love these people. Um, I'll link a video right here to the interview that I did for them. The audio sucks, I know guys. Everybody tells me the audio sucks. It was my very first interview I ever did and uh, I didn't have the proper equipment for audio, so it does sound a little bit bad. But if you can get through it, watch their interview. They're an amazing couple. They work camp all around the United States. They've been to Bar Harbor, Maine, to the Keys, to White Mountains in uh, New Hampshire, I think New Hampshire. <laughs> And then now Alaska, and they're just an incredible couple. I really, really love them. They're the very first uh, nomads I met along the way. We were getting our solar installed at AM Solar in Eugene, Oregon. Um, and how random is that that they were here and we ran into each other at Starbucks. But that's what this life is about. So many times you meet people on the road and you run into them in random places around the United States and it's just beautiful. These relationships are important and ones that I think, you know, as I started getting out on the road, I really learned to cherish these relationships even more and I feel like they're an extension of my family. I mean, I know they would be there in a heartbeat for me just like I would be there um, for them. And so, and that's not just Eric and Rachel, it's so many other people that I have met on the road and um, yeah, it's a beautiful life. So <laughs> anyways, I just had to share that with you.